check this. All right, guys, this is the uh, next steps of what I did here. Um, this is actually about one inch thick now. Uh, actually, maybe, yeah, it's about one inch. Um, I actually ended up with about an inch and an eighth th finish thickness after I set everything in there. And then what I did was took a one inch block that was about yay wide, about yay long, two of them, put them on both sides, and then I took an old planer blade and scraped the um, mold until it was perfectly flat and equal to those two blocks on the side which were at one inch so uh, that's about how thick I am now and then I went back and took random things popsicle stick carved to a weird shape little, little slightly modified end weird shape the bigger end fits in there real nice and the smaller end fit in the tail is pretty good um, I also used a uh, crab picker um, or lobster picker or whatever those this thing really scrapes really good uh, same thing like a big uh, bamboo skewer and just a pocket knife um, there's a bunch of whole air bubble holes on the top you know I tamped it out pretty good but that whisk obviously adds a lot of air bubbles but um, when I'm working in the mold there uh, it all turned out just fine and pretty smooth but anyways that doesn't matter because the next step um, after this is dry uh, maybe in another day or so uh, Way to tell if it's dry is it should not be cold when you pick this up It should be room temperature and that would be a hundred percent Dry and that's when I'd start to use it. So it does take a while um, depending on the thickness um, To seal all the some of the small holes the smaller holes and such inside the mold I use mod podge. It's a um, just a sealer uh, just like a shellac or a varnish or a polyurethane or anything like that, but it's like a almost like an Elmer's glue type paste. Um, pretty much looks just like Elmer's glue. I don't know the makeup of it really, but Elmer's glue. And what you do with that is, um, in this case, I'm going to brush everywhere, all over, a couple, two, three, four coats, what I really like, and inside of the mold. It's probably in the best brush. I might get a different brush before I do it. Um, and down inside the mold, one coat, let it dry, a couple hours, whatever it says, recommended. Another coat all over the whole mold. Because when I'm pouring this, I'm thinking that, you know, I might drip a couple drips when I'm pouring the freehand soft plastic in there. So I want that to be able to release from there. Um, on a two-part mold, I only try to keep the, the Mod Podge inside of where I am, where the actual mold profile is. I don't go to the outsides. Uh, I find when I clamp that together, even after a long period of drying, it wants to stick to itself a little bit. So that's a little tip there. Alright, um, I'm going to let it dry for another couple more days and then brush it with the Mod Podge and I'll show you that step. All the little holes. I should have tamped it down a little bit better, but I think it'll be fine. There's not many holes actually inside the body itself because this is more the top. So when I did tamp it, they all race to the top. And so they're only really in this first like eighth of an inch layer. All the rest is pretty good, which where the body of the fish is or the fluke is. Um, I was thinking about putting some kind of ridge line in there to create that um, separation. Just because it is better for the hook, uh, but this body is only you know five eighths wide. You wide gap swim swim bait hook, set the hook real good. It should be fine. Plus, sometimes I like to uh, fish a fluke uh, sideways instead of instead of rigging it. You know the hook through here, down the belly, up back through, and, and um, weedless it. I like to turn the bait this way, hook it through, and hook the hook through the side of the um, fish and that way when it goes through the water it's a more of a sideways action so alright coat one of the Mod Podge
Alright, this is after three coats. Um, probably stick with three. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, probably let it dry for tonight. We'll see what happens. Um, I just got some random old speed crawls, super old speed crawls, and some other pre-melted things. A couple other lures and stuff in there. And it's super hot. Those fumes are probably not good for you. So, um, definitely wear a mask or do this in a well-ventilated area. All right, here we go. I do not know how this is going to work. I'm scared about these tails here. I think... It's going to be tough to get... Oh gosh, the tail. The mold is kind of cool. I should have uh, warmed it up a little bit. I didn't think of that. I don't know how, but... I'm thinking I need to uh, elevate the nose of the bait to get the liquid. I thought it was just going to flow evenly back to the tail. Ooh, but... Hmm. That's what I was afraid of. These work perfectly. The bot, obviously, <laughs> this is my first time, so uh, trial and error here on this this open pour. I think I'm gonna have to um, elevate this. I mean, very slightly, and maybe since maybe since this is super hot, I'm gonna try it again and let the mold's gonna warm up from this heat a little bit, and hopefully it'll flow a little bit better to the feet uh, fins. Hopefully you can see this. Um, We'll see what happens. I mean, I like the way the body poured, kind of. It could be better. But like I said, this is my first time, so... Fail. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let these cool. I'll pull it out just to show you what it looks like, even though it's messed up. And we'll, um, we'll try it again. We'll uh, elevate it slightly with um, just a popsicle stick next time, just right on the... Um, Right, right along here, just so it's elevated a little bit, so when I pour it, it slowly runs into that tail. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, I got a uh, some cool water here. It's been about two or three minutes. Obviously, this did not work the first time. I think it's going to either take some practice or something. They say put it in cool water afterwards to, to help set it up, but I'm sure that helps. Well, it's super soft still. I like the uh, the body shape isn't too bad, but the tail did not work as well as I wanted to. So, um, I don't like the way that actually the head looks either. But I can always cut that off when I put it on a hook or whatever. Eh, it's not that big a deal. Uh, that one turned out okay. Except for the tail. Let's try this one. Yeah, I mean, that body looks okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is like a green pumpkin. Kind of turned out green pumpkin-y. Um, <clears throat> from the random things I had. So. Trial one. Body looks good. Poor. Fail go another round the mold is a little bit warmer now plus I elevated it with that popsicle stick a little bit I don't know it may need to go a little farther um, a little higher up but I don't want it to run too much so we're gonna try that at first uh, take two slightly elevated I'm actually going to It cools before it makes it there. 
I don't know if you can see that, but that's what's going on right now. So that didn't quite work. Let's try to elevate it a little bit more. Oh, fail again. Man, I thought I... thought I had it. All the clumps out. Well, uh, take two was a fail. Um, I tried to elevate the back and get it to slide into the fins, but that did not work all, all that well. I'm going to try it again with um, this little paintbrush and try to elevate it a little bit higher. I don't want to, you know, I'm trying to go super small increments so it just doesn't all go whoop to the tail and then over flood the tail. Um, I'm trying to get a nice thin tail. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right, take three, slightly elevated. Oh, so close. Nope. I think a tip that will help next time is to add on it. That's the other tricky part. Ah, that was horrible. <laughs> Definitely fail. Um, well, I'm just going to keep practicing on this and I probably I might just scrap this thing because it's not worth the effort to try to make that a perfect pour every single time when I when I maybe got one ninety five percent I think I'm gonna stick to the two part molds so I guess I'm gonna show you that with um, with my catfish I haven't done her yet so that's probably gonna be my next video here Two part more with this guy. Keep your fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. I'm going to keep messing around this for a little bit and see if I can get anything to, uh, to work right. But super hard to get that to flow into there. So I might actually take, um, take it and make it into like a round this off and clean that up again and make it into almost like paddle tails. You know, round those off to make them look like paddle tails. That might be pretty cool. Might give us some good action. All right, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Thanks again. Be safe out there.